Welcome back to another edition of the PDI Show. This is your host, Colt Frenchie. We have a lot of breaking news around the NHL. We have a busy show to you tonight. And let's start right away. We have eight, nine minutes to go through ninth fun segment. And the first one talking about the goaltender Henrik Lundqvist for the Washington Capitals. Today, he announced on his Twitter account he's going to skip the upcoming season 2020 and 2021 because of his heart condition after many consultations with his doctor and, of course, with his wife. He was better for him to take care about his health, and he decided to skip for the upcoming season. Now, I want to be sure you understand he did not said or he did not said anything about he's going to be retired. So he's going to reevaluate his situation after uh, the, the season 2021 and see what it would be the best for him. So what happening now, the Washington Capitals will have to uh, looking for another uh, golden door for them. I'm sure they may be going to look for Greg Anderson or Jimmy Howard. So it's another story to follow up. Talking to segment number two, we have to go with a veteran of 36 years old from the St. Louis Blues, Alexander Steen, announced that he's going to be retired as a hockey professional uh, player uh, after 15 years in NHL and some uh, bad condition on his uh, lower back. He, he decided it was the best for him to stop to play hockey. Uh, he played over 1,018 games in NHL. Um, he has like 245 goals, 377 assists for a total of 622 points. And he played 12 years with the Blues. He won the Stanley Cup in 2019. And remember, he was a 24 overall pick in 2002 by the Toronto Maple Leafs. So we wish the best for Alexander Steen. And uh, this is a, you know, uh, that would maybe open up now a uh, possibility for the St. Louis Blue to find uh, for more money for the salary cap. Uh, number three, segment number three, we want to talk about the Chicago Blackhawks, their general manager, uh, Stan Bowman, uh, have an agreement with the Chicago Blackhawks owners, uh, the Wirtz family, about the fact he's going to have a double duty um, with them. Uh, we know he's a general manager for many years uh, with the Chicago, but now the announce is going to be also the president of the business operation and the president of the hockey operation for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, Bowman is the son of the, the legendary um, Scotty Bowman, and uh, we know what Scott can bring. He's a winner of the three Stanley Cup as a manager, but also we have to remember, they have a difficult time in Chicago. They are on the, maybe on the rebuilding uh, situation, and one thing you have to fix for sure is the golden door situation. They have only two uh, golden door with not many experience in NHL, Malcolm and Trillia. So it's something we have to follow up very closely what Bowman is going to do. Segment number four, we want to talk about Jason Labardera. Um, Jason uh, is uh, right now the golden door coach for the uh, Team Canada Junior team. And uh, he's just got hired by the Calgary Flames. Remember, a couple of days ago, the Florida Panthers announced um, a style of development coaching for goaltender. They have now four coach. And now the Flames decide to do the goal that way also. That's the reason why they hire uh, Jason LaBarbera and, um, with, the, with them. Uh, we know Jason is a co-owner and they have uh, some... Uh, part of the ownership with the WHL Calgary Itman, where the group is also owned by the Calgary Flames. So maybe we see the connection between both, uh, both of them. So segment number five, I want to talk a little bit about the NHL. We all wait. We are all on the waiting list. We're waiting situation to see what's going on with the NHL. If it's coming with a upcoming season, when is going to start everything like that? We're all anxious, but NHL is very, very close to, to have a deal right now. The only thing that's going on is to see and to understand all the restrictions about the COVID-19 in Canada and also in USA and different states. So that's what's going on. They all accept the, the 56 game. They accept the division. 
they're not sure about the date of the upcoming, but they need to figure out everything about the COVID-19. And I think once this is going to be figured out, we're going to know this very, very soon, what could happen. I will not be surprised if they start the, the couple of few weeks at the beginning of the season with a bubble situation like last year with Edmonton and Toronto. Um, now, segment number six, I want to talk about Mitch Marner from the Toronto Maple Leaf. He was on the radio show yesterday. He was talking about how happy he is. He is about the fact they have veterans like Joe Thornton, Wayne Simmons, and uh, DJ Brody uh, join the team for the upcoming season. He said maybe it was maybe a situation where they are missing in the last couple of years to have the veterans like them to join the team and maybe teaching them what it takes to, to win, but also to become a professional players and what it takes to, to be maybe more consistent, get better habits. And he really believe those veterans is going to helping them, uh, the Toronto Maple Leaf, to maybe become a great uh, team in NHL. We know what they can do on the offensive side, but I think he's right. I think they need to learn how what it takes to win, um, you know, game after game. So it's something we have to follow up for sure. And um, let's move on to segment number seven. And segment number seven, we talk about the Blackhawks Chicago uh, earlier uh, with with uh, Bowman. But what I want to talk to you is about the Chicago Blackhawks announced today they will not change their name and also their logo. They have a lot of pressure in the sport. Uh, with uh, example like the Washington Redskins and the Cleveland Indian about the fact they wear the the logo about Indians everything like that and both team they they decide to remove their name and the logo but Chicago Blackhawks announced today they won't they would keep their name and the and their logo at that moment we don't know they could they could change in the future but they announced today they will not change their nickname, the Blackhawks, and of course, the great logo uh, for them. Uh, number eight, and the one I want to mention this, it's happening a few minutes ago before I came live here on this show, the Florida Panthers signed, the, signed Anthony Duclair, uh, ex-Ottawa uh, Senator player. He was a UFA. Uh, I did not know the, 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 the contract. I did not know the, the amount. I just got it just before Prada came here, and I want to share with you uh, the situation with the Florida Panthers. I think the Florida need more players. Uh, they are not enough solid right now. This is my opinion, but I think they need more, more top six player uh, for sure. So Zikla is going to bring with last year. He has put 40 points. Uh, with the senator, you have 20, uh, 23 goals, 17 assists. And finally, we always like to finish uh, this program, the, T the PDI uh, show with the birthdays in NHL. And we have uh, 15 different players, ex-NHL player is their birthday today. But we want to mention the one uh, is from uh, Vincent Danfoss, turned 53 today. Happy birthday, Danfoss. But also we have Dave Poulain. 62 and finally the head coach from St. Louis Blues Greg Berry Bay turned 55 today. So uh we beat the clock 20 seconds. I was quick fast. It's not happening a lot, but it's happening tonight. I beat the PDI clock, so I'm so proud of this. But before we leave, I just want to remind you don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also Facebook. And you can hear about every breaking news uh, around the league, NHL, or around the world. And finally, we came here a couple of times per week with our PTI show. And Monday to Friday, we have also our daily show with my co-host, Michael DeVellano. Thanks again for watching us. Look forward to see you next time. Have a great one, friends.